Good morning, everyone. Well, I hope you're all having an awesome fall. I can't believe it's November already. How did that even happen? I don't know. Um, but anyways, today is project day. We want to get some stuff done before the frost gets into the ground. Otherwise, uh, we won't be getting some of the things done we want to get done. So today we are going to be working on getting the shelter put up here for the goats. A proper shelter because we built a makeshift one last year or two years ago. It works, but we want to get something bigger here. So if we ever have to have cows in here, we can have cows. And it's going to be double-sided. So it's going to be slope roof on either side here. One for the piggies. Uh, we got two more piggies here. They're getting pretty big now. And we're going to get the post auger and we're going to dig our holes. I cut some pine logs the other day out in the woods. Ideally, you want to use cedar, but we really don't have cedar on the property. And I don't want to pay someone for cedar because it's pretty expensive, but this will do. It's pretty dry down here, so by the time they rot, it's probably going to be 15, 20 years. And by that time, hope they'll be retired, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, Chris is going to get the tractor out. We're going to hook up the post auger. Um, dog on the tractor and we are going to get some holes dug so I need to grab a tape measure and we need to figure out how wide we want to do it it's probably gonna be eight feet wide so we have some beams that we can use um, that'll make it eight feet wide and then we'll go from there we'll show you the process as we make this so here she comes with the tractor here so here's our post auger here funny enough story she got this for a really good deal she was looking for one for months and they are like eight nine hundred bucks and she showed up at a farm she was buying something from. And then she asked them if they were selling anything else because they were shutting their farm down. And they had a post auger. And I think she got for like 300 bucks. And it's been awesome. It's helped us do a lot of work around here. Better than digging. So we'll get this all hooked up here. And the cows are enjoying the fresh bale of hay over here. Okay, all right, so we're gonna dig our first hole right here. Oh, that probably gives good. We go a little bit more, but the fence is there, so I don't want to pull you back again, yeah. Because we are lower it. Oh yeah, it's probably good there. So in retrospect, we probably should have made these poles longer if we knew we were going to do this. So we could have just built the shelter off the, these poles, but hey. No, we really like digging holes, so here we go. <laughs> Pretty sandy here, so last time we dug the last one, we dug pretty quick. We usually have a block on here, which we don't today. Probably we'll go get it. Make it a lot easier for that to wait. Go up and down, you don't the fence. 
All right, so there's a nice deep hole. So we're going to go down to the next one here. I'm just going to grab the tape measure. I think we're going to do eight foot centers. All right, we've got three post holes dug now. So we're going to grab three posts to stick them in. This one's on a bit of an angle, so we got to kind of adjust for that before we dig our next hole and see what happens. Post in so far, so we're measuring now for our next corner piece here, and then go from there. So, we're gonna do the next post here, and then the goats are already eating all the pine, they love the pine. See, if I was a logger, I could do strip pine log or strip cedar logs because these guys eat it all off, they love it. How is that, Alice? Sadie, all right, back to work. See you later, goaties. So we got our post in six of them anyways. That one down there is a bit too short, so I'm gonna have to go cut a longer one. And then after lunch, we just moved uh, the grates there. So we're gonna dig two holes here for uh, two posts here for a roof on this side. And we'll be looking good. How'd that go this morning? Yeah. yeah? We're both feeling sick. I'm feeling better today, but she's got it pretty good today. But we need this done before the frost hits the ground. All right, once we get the next stuff finished up, I'll show you how it's all coming together. Okay, so day two. So one thing we didn't do properly with the post was, where's my level? I don't know where my level was. We didn't put the level on the post to make sure that they're leveled up. So they're off canter and it's too late now because we've got them in. Whatever, we like to wing things here. So we've got six posts in here. We dug two more posts for the pig side over there. And then I've got my helper Dean here who I actually have to do a video with one day. Um, because he's helping us on the farm, which we appreciate, and he's learning lots. Yeah. So we'll do a video with him one of these days. Um, so what we did was we got our, uh, oh, there's my level. We got uh, our post up here cut, so they're all the same level. But I used laser level to make sure everything was level. And guess what? We cut that one like four inches too short. Yeah. So now I'm just winging it with another piece of wood up here, as you can see. So and everything's level right now. So we've got our top beams we're going to screw on here and uh, we're going to take this top beam off here and we're going to put a longer one on because I want an overhang on the edge so we just have a little bit of protection of water coming in and whatnot. Um, so we'll get this part screwed in, finished up and then we need to cut these posts down a bit so that we have a bit of a slope on the roof. And I'm no construction guy but we're going to try to figure out so we have a fairly good slope that the snow and rain will just come off it nicely. And once we have that done, we'll show you how it's going. In the meantime, Kristen is moving hay up to the barn here from our other uh, shaft down there. Um, we have a load, another load of hay coming in on Friday because these goats and cows eat a lot of hay. So we want to make sure we're stocked up for the winter and we'll be ready to rock. So yeah, we'll get on to the next step here and we'll show you how it progresses along. Okay. So I've got Dean here. He's, we're sistering up this boards here because we didn't have uh, any more of the 4x4 four four posts that would fit along there like we do up there. So we're going to sister up this board. It's not ideal but it's just for a shelter so we should be okay. And all we're doing is putting a 2x4 on one side, popping lots of screws. We'll flip it over, put another 2x4 on the other side, lots of screws. And then it should hold the beam nice there and then we should be laughing. Once we get this up, we'll show you what it looks like. So let's do, Dean, let's do one more 
here and here just okay. to make sure we got it good because I want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere. And if you're a construction guy, don't laugh at us because this might not be the right way to do it. I'm hoping the two by fours are long enough. They could probably be a bit longer, but. Right here, right? Yeah, right there is good. And then we'll have a nice long beam to put up there. And then, yeah, we'll continue on with the process. It's coming along nicely. And so once we get the next step, we'll show you how it's gonna look. We have made some pretty good progress today on this. He's been a pretty good help. It's nice having two people. So we've got this uh, cross joint up. We've got this one joined up. We sistered the boards together. I don't know if you can see it there in the camera because it didn't have long enough boards. So we sistered them up and they're gonna hold fine. And uh, I've got one truss I cut already, which I'll show you over here. I'll just show Dean quickly before he left how it's done because he hasn't done anything like this before. I've done it a few times. So I've got my notches cut in that one board and I've used that as a jig for my other two. So I'm gonna cut these out real quick. Same down here, cut these two guys out and then I'll put them up today. And I gotta figure out some other trusses because we really don't have much wood around here. It's all scrap wood I'm using and free wood and off cuts from uh, guys that cut pine logs. So we've got all their uh, rough cuts. So like this board here, I should be able to get two boards out of that. And then we cut uh, this one here. I might be able to cut another board out of that if it's long enough. And back here, this is all the off cuts we have here. So I'm hoping there's two or three pieces I can use out of here. I think there is that are long enough. Maybe not. I might have to buy wood, which I'm not wanting to do. I'm trying to do this as free as possible. But it's hard when you don't have all the good scrap stuff you need. Um, because I think I'm gonna need eight trusses on the other side to make it work properly because I think it's every 24 inches you need one. But we'll get to that later on tomorrow when we try getting those up. But I'm gonna finish this now. Once I get these guys up, I'll show you how it looks. Pretty exciting. Okay, so I've got one truss up. I used it as a jig to measure these ones, but they were off, so I had to recut them. That's all right. Now I'm just going to measure so they're the same distance between the front as they're in the top there. And it's going pretty quick actually. And I've measured four feet center here. So I have three. Okay, there we go. We got those ones measured out nicely there. So I got the last one here. Pop it on the end. Okay, now I just have to pop some screws in and we'll be laughing. Okay, there you go, finish this off in a minute. And then next step is uh, getting cross braces on along the top. Day number three, building our goat shelter. So just recap, day one we put the post in. Day two, Dean and I put up all the cross beams. And now we're doing our trusses. And Dean hasn't really built anything before, so he's learning lots. He's gonna be a professional carpenter by the end of this. <laughs> So he's just right now, while I'm cutting the notches for the beams here, for the trusses, he's coming behind me, he's uh, popping in the screws so we can tag team and get her done nice and quick. Yeah. And Ainsley is being a goat herder today. Yep. She's herding all the goats yep. so they don't eat the screws and escape. And they're not very good helpful helpers goats, but hey. And yeah, so we're banging along this pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to continue with the trusses here. I've got them laid on saw horses here. Got them all marked out for the notches. So just fast and easy to cut them and get them done. And we have the pig side done this morning as well. 
the trusses. And next step is putting on all strapping here, which will be pretty quick to do in the roof. So in, when we, so we get this done in the next step, we'll show you how she's coming along. We got a lot done today. We got all these trusses up and screwed on. Come along nicely and the goats are already trying out their half shelter. We got some strapping on here now. He's all screwed on. I need to cut some more wood for strapping, but hopefully on Sunday I can finish, off, finish it or get some done. I'm running out of wood. So I gotta figure out what I'm doing for wood for all the strapping here. But I might finish that first and then get some roofing up quickly and figure out the shopping some other time. And then once we get this done, we have another shelter to build for the cows because I did makeshift one like a year and a half ago and it's a piece of junk. It's not really good. It's just more like a lean-to. Um, so we got to build a proper one over there as well. So I need to cut more post in the woods for it. But everything's come along great. When I build that other one, I'll show you how it looks too. So until we get the roof on and the strapping, we'll see you next uh, time, I guess, when is that? Monday, Tuesday, whenever we do this. The goat and pig shelter is coming along nicely now. I've got part of the roof up here. You can see we got this roof uh, used from the auction, one of Kristen's DLs. It's coming along nicely here. I have one more small section to put on this part here. And I think I have about four more to do on this side here. But the goats are enjoying it so far, aren't you? Munchy and Misty and Cappy and whoever else your names are, Sadie. So many goats, can't remember other names. But I'm going to uh, cut three more sheets right now so that I can pop them up if I feel like up to it right now. If not, I'll just have them ready for tomorrow or the next day. We have two cows we're butchering tomorrow, so we gotta take them away. But yeah, this is coming along nicely. And then what we're gonna be doing too, Kristen was talking about doing Dutch doors. So like the doors you see here, the double, you know, bigger on the bottom, small, smaller on the top. So we can open one if we need to and keep the top closed for winter time. So I'll have to build something here and I do on both sides, but I'll do that for another video. I've never built one of those before. I'm pretty sure it's straightforward. So I'll leave it at that for now. Once I get the roofing done, I'll show you that. And it will end the video there. And I'll show you once we get the rest of it finished. Fully built. I got the roof, most of it done now. I'm here with Grove the cow. What do you think of the shelter there, Grove? Do you like it? You're not too sure? She's not gonna be here anyway. She'll be up in the backfield with the other cows. This is mostly for the goats. But here we go from this side here. So all I need to do now really is just put a little capping on the back here so there's no hole there. And I just need to cut one more piece of metal roofing for right here so it finishes up that side. And then the roof should be pretty much done. And there's a whole bunch of holes from the previous person who had it. So I need to buy some caulking just to fill those holes in. So the rain doesn't come on through. Well, that's, uh, that's a two minute job. All right, so like I said, once I uh, do the rest of it, I'll show you the rest of it later once I get that done. I'm not sure I'm gonna get time to do that. Hopefully next week. But I just wanna show you how to reconstruct this real quick. And I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to your channel. Hit that bell so you keep update to uh, all the videos we're doing. And we'll see you out there. Have a great day.